ఫ్యూడలిజానికి వ్యతిరేకంగా ధీరోత్తమ పోరాటం నడిపిన హైదరాబాద్ గడ్డపై సామాజిక ఉద్యమాల ఆవశ్యకతపై సదస్సు జరిగింది భారత కమ్యూనిస్టు ఉద్యమ నిర్మాత కామ్రేడ్ చండరాయేశ్వరరావు శతయంచి ఉత్సవాలను పురస్కరించుకుని జరిగిన సెమినార్లో వివిధ దేశాల ప్రతినిధులు పాల్గొన్నారు ప్రొఫెసర్ రమా మేల్కోటె అధ్యక్షతన జరిగిన ఈ సెమినార్లో ప్రపంచవ్యాప్తంగా కమ్యూనిజానికి వ్యతిరేకంగా జరుగుతున్న కుట్రలను ఐక్యంగా ఎదుర్కోవాలని తీర్మానించారు representatives from various international organizations leaders of the different communist parties of different nations plus plus personal ladies and gentlemen it is it, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the international seminar on the topic of social movement and the role of left organized by cr foundation for social progress hyderabad on the occasion of kamri chandrayesrao sensational celebrations who was the veteran leader of the communist movement with the great pleasure i am welcoming professor rama melkote she is going to preside over this session now i am inviting simati rama melkote and b b vijayalakshmi I request be with him to gather in the us here on the stage may not have been able to follow but I presume that he has touched almost all the aspects of Comrade Rajeshwar Rao's contribution to the freedom struggle to the communist movement to the peasants and agriculture workers movement to which he was particularly attached therefore i do not want to take your time on speaking about him though i felt that as one of the person who was associated with him in the central secretariat of the communist party for 10 years under rajeshwar rao i should be able and it is my duty to speak a few words about what i knew about him what i felt about him and what i saw about him i will however proceed now to the main theme of the seminar we are talking of the social movements that are there today all over the globe social movements is a wide term it includes not only the political struggles that are being conducted by people but that also includes the struggles that are carried on by the people on their day to day problems of life for instance we know that today because of the high prices almost everywhere there is a struggle and people are struggling to bring down the high prices to curb inflation and so forth there is also corruption the struggle against corruption is a very important part of the social movements that are being carried on today but one of the most important struggle that is being carried on is the struggle against the imperialist offensive which is now assuming international proportions international dimensions the capitalist crisis is manifesting itself 
more and more in the form of more aggression being committed by imperialism. Earth that Hitler launched his fascist drive. Similarly, in Italy, Mussolini started by talking about a cooperative, about people coming together. Fascist means a group, group coming together. This is the language which the fascists always have used. Demagogy is one of their weapons. And we are also hearing the many speeches that are delivered by our would-be fascist. We remember, we have listened to Han nearly 450 speeches of his during the election campaign, promising a heaven on earth for the Indian people. Today, the people even though only two months are over since the takeover of power by him, but are already asking him about those promises. What has happened to the promise for reducing prices? What has happened to many of the other promises that have been made? We know that he does not speak anything about the killing of Muslims, of the minorities. He is well known as a mass killer, which he was in 2002, that haunts him, that haunts the people's minds also. They have not forgotten it. And more and more they will remember it, because they are seeing what steps he is taking now. Therefore, the left has a big role before it. If it has to fight on the basis of its clear understanding, on the basis of its scientific understanding of the situation prevailing in the country and the situation as it develops, the left will have to alert the people, carry on struggles right from the panchayat level to all the other levels that are there in the country. Celebrate the centen birth centenary of Comrade Chandra Rajeshwar Rao, who was an outstanding leader of the communist movement in the country, an outstanding leader of the Telangana peasant armed struggle, which liberated and set up Soviets in 3,000 villages, and who, as a person, along with his comrades, built up the communist movement in this region as the mightiest pillar of the Indian communist movement. Andhra, Vishalandhra, was in fact the biggest base of the communist movement in the country. When Comrade Chandra Rajeshwar Rao came to the communist movement, there were no Marxist classics available easily. Many of them had not been translated, and even those which had been translated into English in the advanced countries were not easily available in villages in Andhra Pradesh. Nonetheless, they came to the communist movement because from within them, there was a desire to reach out to a scientific understanding of the world around us in order to be able to change it for the better. Now this, with what Marx had said in the Communist Manifesto, Marx and Engels had said in the Communist Manifesto, that sections of the other classes, particularly even the bourgeoisie or other dominant classes, which actually theoretically comprehend the historical process as a whole, break off from the ranks of those classes to come to the proletarian movement.
Communist Party of Vietnam persistently support the Communist and Workers Parties and other progressive social movements in our struggle for the common goals of our time and plays an active part in the efforts for peace, national independence, democracy, and social progress in all over the world. First anniversary of the great stalwart of the communist movement in, Q in India and the former general secretary of the Communist Party of India, Comrade C. Rajeshwar Rao. Comrade C. Rajeshwar Rao was a great patriot who left his medical education and worked for the upliftment of the exploited and the downtrodden. He is and he will always be remembered as the leader of the armed peasant struggle in Telangana. He dedicated his life for the communist ideals and egalitarian values and struggle till his last breath for the emancipation of the toiling masses. The message of Comrade C. Rajeshwar Rao life and his contribution to the communist movement is an example for the present generations. On behalf of Cuba, I paid my sincere respect to Comrade C. Rajeshwar Rao on this occasion of his centenary celebrations. I also take this opportunity to inform that Cuba just celebrated the 60 first anniversary of the heroic deed of July 26, a landmark in contemporary political history, especially in Latin America. Since the triumph of the Cuban Revolution, India and Cuba are sharing the same desire for freedom, love of independence and progress of nations, and above all, an unwavering decision of upholding the values of our national identity. That is what explained that ancient India and the young Cuba were founders of the non-aligned movement. Both countries have coordinated actions and shared a tribune to defend the just causes of the people of the third world, the just causes of humanity. That is why my country once again urged all state, international organizations and bodies to the Security Council of the United Nations and we also are working with other nations in different fields of cooperation. Cuba continues working with the objective to transform and develop our country for the benefit of all citizens. We have had progressed in Latin American integration. Communist Party of Bangladesh, I pay deep respect and homage to the great communist leader, Comrade Sri Rajesh Rao, the former General Secretary of the Communist Party of India, and the leader of heroic armed uprising of Telangana on the occasion of his birth centenary. His life and works are valuable lessons for the communists, not only for India, but also for Bangladesh and the entire subcontinent. We are thankful to the organizers of this august gathering for inviting our party on this occasion. The Indian communists and the communists of the different countries gathered here, and it's quite appropriate that they will also discuss about the present world situation and the problems and the prospect of the international communist movement as well. A seminar on the emergence of the social movement and task of the left has also been arranged. It is very important that communists and the left should take a correct position regarding the various types of social movement that have emerged in the recent times all over the world. This is called Fulvari movement. And this movement was a heroic movement of the people of the district of Dinaspur in Bangladesh. Local people successfully forced the government to postpone the plan to hand over the coal mine to British company Asia Energy to exploit the mine by open mining process only at 6% royalty. It was a people a prize of the tremendous dimension which could win such a victory. As because Workers' Party of Bangladesh, we inherit communist movement of the then British India. Comrade Rajeshwar Rao, he is not only your leader, but also our leader. Comrade P.C. Joshi, Comrade Ranadeep, 
कमरेड पी के सुंदर नायक कमरेड बसपुर नायक कमरेड इंद्रजित गुप्त कमरेड ज्योति बसु कमरेड नामबुद्रीपाद अल अफ दिस कमरेड्स आवार लीडर एंड अल्सो कमरेड बर्धन कमरेड राजेश्वर राव इन नाइनटीन फर्टी एट हेन कलकता कॉग्रेस वज हेल्ड कमरेड राजेश्वर राव हि अपोस्ट दैट लाइन एंड आवार पार्टी लीडर कमरेड अमल सें हि वज दिक्रेटरि अफ जशोर डिस्ट्रिक्ट हि वज अल्सो अपोस्ट दिस लाइन आई एम सेंग दिस united india divided but communist movement anti imperialist movement anti communal movement this is very much integrated to extend vote of thanks for this international seminar on social movements and the role of left i extend my gratitude to comrade ab bardhan who who spared his valuable time and delivered the inaugural address which is the torch of this seminar i also may extend my thanks to professor rama melkote for her, her kind acceptance as chairperson and conducting the seminar in a systematic way i express my sense of obligation to extend my thanks to professor Prabhat Patnaik for delivering the keynote address of the seminar, which is the bone content of the seminar. I extremely grateful and thankful to Vietnam delegates, Comrade Tran Cang Tuyen, Deputy Head of the Embassy, uh, and Comrade Nguyen Thi Kin Vien, Third Secretary of the Embassy, Communist Party of Vietnam. But both Vietnam delegates, and my extremely grateful and thankful to Comrade uh, Morales Dunas Morales, Deputy Head of the Embassy, Communist Party of Cuba. I extremely grateful and thankful to Comrade Syed Abdul Jafar Ahmed, General Secretary, Communist Party of Bangladesh. My Extremely grateful and thankful to Comrade Bimal Vishwas, Politburo member, Workers Party of Bangladesh. My extremely and grateful thankful to Comrade Ali Ahmed, Enamul Haq, Secretary, International Department and Workers Party of Bangladesh, for attending the seminar. I also extend my thanks to all those who are participated in this program and made it successful. I convey my thanks to print and electronic media for their sincere efforts for the coverage of uh, seminar deliberations. <laughs>